beautiful Leos and welcome to your all signs, feelings, and actions towards you for this week of March 21st to 27th. Do keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs or if you have heavy Leo in your chart placements. So we're going to look all the way from Aries to Pisces. We're going to get a hidden truth oracle for each sign for this week's feelings and actions towards you. We're going to be getting a tarot for the feelings and a tarot for the actions. So three cards for each zodiac sign. If you want to uh, fast forward the shuffle. You absolutely can. So I'm going to have to shuffle all these three cards and then pull them out one by one. So yeah, let's get started. This is for my Leo. Show me all the way from Aries to Pisces. Show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo for the week of March 21st to the 27th. Show me each zodiac sign's feelings for my beautiful Leos. Leo, please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For some of you, the feelings could come in backwards. could be your feelings towards them. Um, but do assign the roles as you wish. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. I do have to say that just so um, you know. Right? So let's see. This is the feelings. Show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo spirit. Feelings for Leo. Feelings for Leo. Thank you. All right. And now let's get their action shuffle. Each zodiac signs actions towards Leo for the week of the 21st to the 27th, all the way from Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs, actions towards Leo. Please show me. This is for Leo. I need all 12 signs actions towards Leo. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's get started. All right, Aries, feelings for you for the week. Mind you, this is for the 21st, 27th. Time is fluid. Keep that in mind. Aries, I am grateful for this spiritual lesson and their feelings with the Nine of Pentacles. So um, Aries is coming in looking seemingly so independent from this connection. So if you are not with an Aries, they definitely do feel very grateful for what they've learned from you. They learned a lot from you. Um, whether the situation or experience felt good to you or not, Aries did learn from you, Leo. I feel like no matter what your situation is with Aries, I still feel like they want to be seen by you or feel your recognition somehow, whether they're doing it like indirectly or directly. I kind of still feel like they want that. Their actions are the three of cups. I <laughs> can't make that up. See, Aries either wants to stay like on a good level with you or I do feel like Aries still does want your attention. They are either wanting to stay in a good vibe with you with the three of cups despite what happened between the two of you or Aries does want reconciliation. I did feel that they kind of do want still some of your attention so they could that's their actions three of cups either keeping you on the friend level or maybe you're keeping them on that certain level or they absolutely are coming around for reconciliation here. Next, Taurus, feelings for you. We both know I'm not the one for you. King of Cups as their feelings, Ten of Swords as their actions. So they definitely feel uh, strongly towards you, but they are coming in with a correlation that there's a possibility that this connection should end or maybe this cycle that you are you two are in is just not working Great for you two right now. They have feelings for you. Do they show it well? King of Cups, probably not. Probably very hard to read the Taurus. But they are correlating in the fact that they feel like we both know Taurus isn't the one. Maybe they betrayed you. Maybe they felt betrayed by you. Um, but despite that, they do feel something to you. But there is, a, there is either an end to a cycle or there was an ending here, betrayal between the two of you. 
Um, who's next? Gemini. I am so attracted to you and the magician. Ooh, so Gemini definitely is manifesting you. They are very attracted towards you. They feel like the possibilities are endless in this connection. They feel like they can have it all with you. You are the full package and their actions are the chariot. Yeah, they want to come towards you. They want to travel towards you if you're in a long distance. Maybe you two are moving or traveling together. Some of you, uh, you know, they just want movement forward with you. They want to be in this connection. They want to see where this goes. They want to pursue you. They want to experience this. They want to see if this relationship will turn into something more or this um, dating-like experience go to something more. They definitely want um, to see that. They definitely have all eyes on you here, uh, Leo. Next is Cancer. The timing just wasn't right for us and the world. So there could have been very difficult cycles here between you and Cancer. Possibly the timing was off between the two of you. Maybe there was sort of timing like situations where they had to do things, you had to do things, whatever the case may be with the world. Um, possibly the cycle of the bad timing is ending or there is just a need for you two to end the cycle of um, disassociation and the knight of wands so i don't really feel like it's over over and i did feel that so i feel like there was um just a lack of bad timing between the two of you for some reason and with the knight of wands here it definitely looks like you two are coming back into action towards each other like let's pursue each other more now let's be more action oriented let's be more uplifting towards each other possibly the cycle that was once in this connection was very negative or not the greatest definitely looks like things are getting a lot more enthusiastic between the two of you or you know maybe the timing wasn't right and you decide to get yourself back out there and let go of cancer um but i do feel like the timing not right of the cycle is ending for some of you and there's more positivity leo's feelings for you leo i know that i crossed the line with you and the two of cups so leo definitely may have done something to this connection that wasn't the greatest said some things they didn't mean did some things whatever the case may be they're still very interested in coupling up with you they feel like you are their soulmate um it does say make love not war so maybe they want to make love with you and not war now maybe they were very um stubborn defensive or they just did something that they know they shouldn't have done but they still want to couple up with you and the hermit are their actions towards you so they definitely want to heal they're very interested in healing whatever they did wrong or maybe they think that you're very to yourself and they're trying to get you out of that hermit mode you are leo so please correlate that as you'd like virgo it was my fault, but I blamed you and the Five of Swords. Oof, yeah, definitely could have been a breakup, separation, extreme arguments with you and Virgo. It was their fault, but they liked to blame you. They didn't want to take the blame or the accountability. Possibly made you feel like you wanted to give up or like you wasted your time. But they definitely tried to get the upper hand here, even if they didn't deserve it. Their actions towards you are the Four of Wands. They still want to be with you. They still want to be with you. They want to stay in this connection or they want to couple up, recouple up with you after this breakup, separation, whatever the case may be. They still view you as the person that they want to be with despite what they did or what they blamed you for when actuality it was their fault. Um, Libra, I wonder if you're happy without me in the Four of Pentacles. So Libra is viewing you a little bit closed off. Or you were dealing with a stubborn Libra. They're very much wondering if they're if you're happy without them. Maybe you two are just mirroring each other and closed off. And they're just wondering if you're happy when they're not talking to you. It may not be a full-on separation. Um, let's see. Their actions towards you are the Queen of Swords. So they are keeping you at a certain distance. Or they do feel like very cut off by you. So somebody's definitely stubborn here. It's either you or Libra. Um, despite the stubbornness, they are wondering how you are when they're not in your energy. Or now that you two are disassociated. Next is Scorpio. I know that it was a distraction to your pain and the Nine of Cups. So Scorpio feels a little bit used by you or maybe there was an energy of hurt and pain and there was an energy of being around a Scorpio. They do feel like you are their wish fulfillment, although they do feel like somewhat of a distraction to you or maybe they used you. This could be the other way around, but they are still wishing and hoping for you. They still view you as somebody that makes them very, very happy despite what occurred here, but with strength as their actions towards you, they may be waiting for you to take more action towards them. 
or they are just a little bit pulled back when in reality they don't want to be pulled back from you. They just may be doing it because they're hurt by you or maybe you're hurt by them and they have a little bit of fear around coming your way for right now. Next, Sagittarius feelings. I want to be more than friends. And the Ace of Wands. Oh, yes. They want to spark something between the two of you. Sagittarius is definitely very attracted towards you. And they want to be more than friends. They want to pursue you on a romantic level. And they absolutely are going to be taking action towards that. Their actions towards you are the Seven of Cups. So they're going to be a little bit confused. Um, they definitely are confused on how you feel. And they want to get out of this confusion. They want to be more than friends. They don't want to feel like an option or they they want more clarity on how you feel and they're going to take action towards getting clarity on if you want to be more than friends too. Could be leveling up the connection, right? Could be very friendly with a Sagittarius, even if you are together with them in a romantic relationship. You two may have a very good friend foundation. Um, Capricorn's feelings for you are I want you and the two of wands. So Capricorn is definitely waiting for you here. They definitely want you. For some of you, Capricorn is choosing you. Um, others of you, Capricorn is making a conscious choice to go and pursue you. Some of you, uh, Capricorn has let go of the past to pursue you. Others of you, you and Capricorn need to let go of the past to have a better world together. Their actions towards you are the tower. So they're going to take some sort of unexpected action towards you here. Um, let's see. I'm going to... Okay, so when these things come out and I go to clarify, I usually just pull from underneath because I did get a... I did I did shuffle. So this next card is really Aquarius's card. So we're going to figure out what is up with Capricorn from the bottom of the deck, which Spirit will know already that I'm going to clarify that. So the tower to the seven, uh, um, the tower to the two of pentacles coming in with, I just said seven. I was looking at this seven of cups and I'm like, why the hell are you saying seven? No way. Okay. Hold on. So their action towards you is the tower to the seven of pentacles. So if you've been waiting on a Capricorn, the wait is over. If two of pentacles, two of now I'm saying two. Two of wands back there. Some of you, like I said, a Capricorn was waiting on their right moment to come towards you. The waiting is definitely over. Let's see. Let's get another underneath. Ooh, ace of pentacles. All right. So if Capricorn is definitely, if you've been waiting for Capricorn to make a move towards wanting you, that's definitely happening this week. It may come out of nowhere too. Um... It may shock you because of what the offer looks like. It may come in very heavy. It may come in very abundant. Um, they may want to see you, get together with you, commit to you. Um, but it looks like there is a little bit of uh, unexpected energy here. So whatever they're coming with is unexpected towards you. But it's either because you've been waiting or they've been slow. Or there was an energy of choosing here. But you got an unexpected abundant offer coming from a Capricorn. I can't believe you got the Seven of Pentacles, and I said Seven right out there. I wasn't expecting the Ace, though, but it did correlate to the Pentacles. When I see the Seven of Pentacles, I need to see a Pentacle after it to know that the wait is over. With it connected to the Tower, I already know the wait is over because that's breaking down the wait. But with, this, with the Ace of Pentacles, like the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, anything correlating to a Pentacle after the Seven of Pentacles is showing that the offer is coming in from this. So, very interesting there. Who the heck is dealing with a Capricorn? Because they just went in on y'all. Okay, um, next. Aquarius. I hope that one day you can forgive me. And the Ace of Wands. Wow, you know what's crazy is I just told you that, like, I don't take from the top because the next card would have been the next sign. So, I have to take from the bottom if I want to clarify. And they would have gotten Ace anyway if I did take from the top. So, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So, Aquarius definitely did something that they shouldn't have done. They pissed you off. They bothered you. Um, whatever the case may be. Ace of Wands. They definitely want to re-spark the spark in this connection. They're still attracted to you. They still want you. They still want to have this connection. And they're not really over you. And they really hope that you can forgive them. Okay, wait. Y'all... Sorry. Sorry, this Capricorn thing got me thrown off. This should be their actions, but they're coming. 
their feelings are the three of pentacles, which is reaching out to you anyway. All right, so we're in the same boat. So they want to be on the same page with you now. They want your forgiveness. They're definitely going to be reaching out to you this week with some sort of something, a peace offering connected to the three of pentacles and their feelings. They want to be okay with you. They want to compromise with you. They want to talk with you. They want to figure out whatever they did to you and have healing here so three of pentacles is all about reaching out ace of wands is about sending a message so we're pretty synchronized and aquarius is reading even though i did jumble that backwards sorry y'all i'm a human i'm not perfect but aquarius is coming in they got something to say they want to be on the same page with you they want your forgiveness they want to work together with you again ace of wands expect a message and that's crazy because that deck is the actions all right, lastly, let's do this the right way because I was on the actions of clarifying Capricorn. That's why I did it the wrong way. Okay, let's make sure I put this in front. So uh, next is we have, or lastly, is Pisces. I feel you leaving me behind. Feelings, Knight of Swords. They're not going to let that happen. They don't want to be left behind by you. So they are absolutely going to say something or they just feel very cut off by you. Maybe you're being very dry with a Pisces or not really giving Pisces too much, not saying them too much, not saying much to them. And that's giving them the intuitive feeling that you're leaving them behind. Uh, but I do get a correlation that they don't want that to happen. Let's see. We have the four of cups and their actions towards you. So they do feel rejected by you. They do feel like they're missing an opportunity with you, or they do feel like they're not getting what they want from you right now. Uh, let's see. Let's give them an under clarification, right? I still have to do it under, even if I'm done. Hello. Page of Wands. See? They want to, like, re-spark the spark here. They don't want you to leave them behind. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you, or they don't want to feel rejected by you. They may try to flirt or get on your good side, give some lighthearted energy to help you feel better with them. Uh, but I definitely see them coming around and feeling like you're in a process of cutting them off or getting over them or something, or at least they feel that way. It could just be an assumption, but they definitely are going to be saying something to you here. You have all three of the last signs. No, I'm sorry. You have all four of the last signs um, for real taking action. Ace, ace, ace. Page of Wands is a message. Anyways, so you have Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces um, in extreme action-oriented energy for you this week. Who else do I feel is a little bit extreme? And doesn't mean these other energies aren't going to take action in terms of whatever I read, but I do feel more of an extremer energy from at least the last four in the Zodiac wheel. Um, and I, I feel more of an extreme from these two, too. Uh, Gemini and Cancer. Others could be coming in, but it's more like you're already around their energy or there's already something happening or occurring. These four are like, here I come, Leo, and I'm coming with something, and this is that and the other high action-oriented energy towards the end of the Zodiac Wheel, if you're dealing with any of these. Um, others of you go with what I said. I feel high action from these people as well, um, Gemini and um, Cancer, um, despite whatever was read for each of the signs. If I said they're taking action, they are. If I didn't say they are, then there's possibly some sort of delay or some sort of need to continuously go through some cycles. So let's get, for my singles who are not dealing with anyone, let's get you some. So we're going to get you a romance angel for my single Leos. Single Leos, single Leos for the week, single Leos for the week. We have calling in your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring help bring you together. Beautiful. Shiz, some of y'all been calling in a Sag, a Cap, a Aquarius, or a Pisces or something. Um, if that's not the case, you may this may be the energy that they are. Because I feel very heavy aces from the from them, which could correlate to a new person altogether. 
Um, I did feel a need to emphasize them for some reason. So singles, definitely um, calling in your soulmate, absolutely. Let me just get a different deck for this par this portion. Because I did just go through those two decks. Okay, so this is for Leo singles. In terms of love for the week, 21 to 27. Leo singles, 21 to 27 spirit. They have calling in your soulmate. Why? Okay. Oh, I can't pick up these cards. This is like a super, super newer deck. I've used it a couple times, but the cards are not as easily picking up. Ace of Cups. All right. New love is coming in for you. Leo, you are absolutely calling in your soulmate. Beautiful. And see, that was why I was very heavy on these over here with the aces. It's like I knew my lions were going to get an ace for the singles, but I didn't really know. Um, we have the four of pentacles and we have the six of cups. Okay, so you're definitely calling in a soulmate. Past life connection, absolutely. Leo, this person is going to feel very familiar to you. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of a lack of openness on your end at first. Or maybe this energy is a little bit closed off when you first meet them. But I definitely do feel like the openness comes very soon because you just feel this connection to this person. It just feels good. It feels familiar. It feels like I've known this person my whole life. And there's definitely a correlation of you calling in a soulmate. There it is. Six of cups. You're calling in a very important soulmate as well. New love is absolutely going to be presenting itself to you. I mean, this is for the week of the 2127. So I'm not going to doubt that it's coming this week. And I'm telling you, I did have a, such a high something for this aces over here. And with your single reading being this makes so much sense. So new love is coming in. Leo, let's get a um, clarification for that. Clarify the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups for single Leos. And I know not everybody wants to hear this, singles, but you do have the Six of Cups. Could be a little bit of a correlation that it is a past person. And I can't rule that out, you know, like... If you're single, it doesn't mean a past person is not going to come back. It doesn't mean that every single person coming in is new. Uh, but you do have the Ace of Cups and you have the Six of Cups. So there is a very high possibility of a past energy and a new energy. All right, give me one card out cold to clarify this. Justice. So very much could be that you're presented with a decision... For some of you, this could be past and new. I'm not going to rule that out. Others of you, this is definitely new love. It feels good. It feels stable. It feels far harmonious. It feels like this is almost like your good karma, meeting this person or connecting with this person or starting something with this person. Um, beautiful. So thank you, Leo, for being here and for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'll see y'all for... Well, we're, this is premiering on Sunday night, so before the week. If you're looking for the, your weekly for this week, it's a good one. And it's out on my main channel, Miss Machiste's Tarot. You can find it. Um, and you know what's crazy? Karma was in your title about, you know, reaping that good karma, finally. So the fact that you have this uh, coming in in your portion of the reading is very synchronized, at least for me as a reader who's reading for you guys. Um, but for this week, I'll see you all for a midweek check-in daily, a weekend, and starting the week that's ending March into April, you will have the same sort of schedule, and there we will start Leo Plus for April. So... Thank you all for being here and for watching. Have a great week, and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now, Leo.